Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. This is the first Yu-Gi-Oh! game to drop on PS4 and Xbox One, and it is basically the spiritual successor to Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Duels that dropped on PS3 and Xbox 360 a while ago. Also, this game retails for $19.99, and it is available digital only on the PlayStation Store and Xbox Marketplace. So I'm gonna just break this game down for you on the real. This game is broken up into basically the single player aspects and the multiplayer aspects. In the single player, you're going to be going through the campaign, challenging the historic battles that happened throughout the whole Yu-Gi-Oh! series from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! all the way up to one of some of the newer Yu-Gi-Ohs like Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V. So you can actually go into these uh, duels and duel as your favorite character using their deck or your own deck. Personally, I think that you should use the historical deck for just purposes of actually enjoying the nostalgia of, of using these cards that the characters usually use. I think you get more out of actually using the historic decks, but that's just me. But if you want to complete the game, you might want to just make your own deck. But in the process of completing these duels, you unlock cards and duelist points that you can use in the other game's mode. So in the process of dueling throughout story mode, you unlock duelist points, which you can use to buy cards in the card shop again these are cards that you can buy with your in-game currency so this is not real money that you're spending you can actually spend the money that you make while you're dueling to actually get more cards so that you can be a better duelist by getting new cards so basically it doesn't really take that much effort to get the points you just keep dueling and you get more points so definitely the card shop is dope again then we got the basic deck edit mode where you can create your own deck from the cards that you unlock via story mode or the cards that you have purchased from the in-game card shop again they have a lot of different recipes for you uh, because during the story mode you actually unlock deck recipes where you can actually put your cards into a already made recipe so it can kind of give you some sort of structure if you don't know where to go in terms of making decks i think it's pretty awesome that you get to get the actual recipes for these legendary decks that you all know and love also another cool thing that this game has is the battle pack so battle pack battles are usually when you open a 10 five card battle pack so it means you open 10 of 10 booster packs with five cards apiece and it automatically makes you a deck with those cards and you can either play uh, online against someone in a battle pack battle or you can play single player with a battle pack battle so I mean definitely dope in terms of uh, just seeing who has more raw skill and luck when it comes to just getting created a random deck so you can't really know what's gonna happen beforehand also as you complete the story mode you unlock a mode called called duelist challenges which is basically a way to play the duelist from the story modes again but instead of the regular decks they have they have challenge decks where basically amped up versions of the kind of archetype they used to use except it's like 10 times more powerful and it actually gives you a challenge it actually gave me a challenge and i'm a real life duelist i actually played Yu-Gi-Oh hardcore before i started youtube and i can say that the challenge mode is definitely not a walk in the park it's gonna take some time i had to restart like probably five times on one of these dudes because i mean they were really like something serious and then in this game you have multiplayer where you can either play rank match or a player match rank match is really the servers are really kind of dead for this game but if you host you'll probably find someone rather than searching for someone but even if you almost get a win in this game it's so slow paced that someone just rage quits when you're about to win so it's like bro like what the fuck do i even do but i mean in terms of just battling your friends which is what i recommend this for it's just the ease of use of battling your friends in a Yu-Gi-Oh game without having to go on the pc or anything like that for rank i definitely don't recommend it because fucking douchebags disconnect on you when they get fucking smacked so definitely stick the player match if you get this game and want to play it online and that's really it for this game i'm gonna tell you about the small little things i liked about this game and the small dislikes about this game so one of the things that i loved about this game is that they actually gave you the historic decks to play as in the campaign i mean playing the duels with the legendary decks that these people use was just awesome it like 
such a rush of nostalgia just hit me like when i was playing these legendary uh historic battles because i was so uh used to seeing these on tv but i was actually playing with the cards that i saw on tv when i was uh little so it just really brought back a lot of great memories from watching the Yu-Gi-Oh series and also it's great that you can use these historic decks and play through these Yu-Gi-Oh series because if you're like me who stopped watching Yu-Gi-Oh after Yu-Gi-Oh GX and you're kind of interested in what these other Yu-Gi-Oh series are about you can actually learn a lot from just playing through the story mode about what was the general consistent consensus and some of the battles that happened in these later Yu-Gi-Oh series that released some of the small things that I disliked in this game were there's no voice acting in the single player campaign while you're playing through these historic battles you're only going to get lines of text for each character and you can't really fully immerse yourself into the memory of these old series because you really don't get the dialogue and don't get the voices that you're used to hearing so i mean it's still interesting seeing the the words come out but i mean the you could come on guys you had you should have put some voice acting in this game it would have made the story mode so much more exciting and just enjoyable in total another thing that i disliked was the actual the fact that ranked is so broken in this game that someone can just rage quit on you and you really will not get compensation and they will not get penalized for just fucking backing out at the last second before the uh, final blow is dealt and stuff like that but other than that uh, this is a solid Yu-Gi-Oh game and I definitely think that it is worth picking up considering that this game is $19.99 for $19.99 it is definitely worth the $20 that you will spend on this game because of the sheer nostalgia and the fact that you get to earn your cards I don't know like I just love the sense of earning cards but yeah it's definitely dope get to battle your friends who have ps4s and just have fun so i definitely think it's worth picking up for 20 and i would probably give it a 7.5 out of 10 also this game should have had animations for the monsters for a majority of them because they didn't even have animations for the god cards or exodia but they had animations for like blue eyes white dragon red eyes black dragon dark magician people like that but they didn't have animations for the other one so i just that was another small thing i forgot but other than that i mean the game is pretty dope and i definitely think it's worth to pick up thank you guys for watching this was just a real down-to-earth review of the game so hope you enjoy pick it up